All right, now one of the things that people do who are following an intermittent fasting eating pattern is they'll do their workout while they're fasting and have their first meal of the day after their workout, but during the workout, they'll consume BCAAs, which might actually be counterproductive if the reason why you're doing intermittent fasting in the first place is to get leaner. So let me explain how this works. Now, BCAAs increase insulin, which is good for muscle because it activates mTOR, but not so good if you want to get lean because it makes you less efficient at burning fat. And the less sensitive you are to insulin, the more likely you are to produce it when you consume BCAAs. And if insulin spikes when all you have in your blood are BCAAs because you've been fasting, then you can experience a drop in blood sugar, which makes you feel like shit and makes you crave sugar, which isn't really ideal if you're dieting. Now, since one of cortisol's main functions is to elevate blood sugar if it drops too low, the drop in blood sugar elevates cortisol. And if you're constantly doing this, if you're constantly putting yourself in a state of low blood sugar, cortisol can become chronically elevated, which makes it harder to preserve muscle mass when you're dieting. So while BCAAs can have a small benefit by activating mTOR, you could easily get the same effect with 15 to 20 grams of complex carbs, which will do a much better job of maintaining blood sugar levels and minimizing cortisol production.